tutorial system is like the biggest thing that separates Oxford from other universities and that is college based usually um, and I think it's a really great way to make sure you understand things. The fact that your tutors stay with you for, for us it's a whole year um, and then you get new tutors each year because you change modules um, but the fact that they know you on an individual basis so there's only six medics at Worcester um, means that you can literally ask them about anything and they'll be able to answer. I think there's about nearly 400 undergrads, I'm not sure how many postgrads, um, but um, I kind of find that most um, second years and third years, if I see them walking around, I'll kind of either know their face or know their name or kind of know someone who knows them. Um, like it's quite a nice size of kind of, you do have kind of the sense of like community because you do kind of recognise most people. Try to not get put off by things like admission statistics or expectations of people around you and just know that there are places at Oxford and you know you could deserve one of them and so just give it your best go and if you're kind of wondering about taking that leap or whether you'd fit it in, as long as you really do enjoy the subject that you're thinking of applying for and you're willing to put in the effort and work hard then absolutely apply and just give it a go. What do we look for in a competitive application for your subject? Well what we're looking, what we're looking for is the ability or the ability to develop uh, a talent for using physics and mathematics to create models for the world around you. Really think carefully about what you really are interested in, try and bring that through in the personal statement. Um, obviously it's interesting to know about what other things you do besides your academic subjects, um, but I think the primary thing is about expressing just why it is that you love studying and, and, and learning about, uh, about new things. The, the process for how you meet mathematics is essentially you go to some lectures, you meet the mathematics, you probably won't take it all in initially. You then spend a good while going through some problems that are meant there to, to challenge you, to have you thinking hard about how the material you just met coheres, putting it all together, and then a while afterwards you have a tutorial on this. And we're basically looking for students who have both a strong motivation to study physics and also a natural ability to do so. Uh, so we look for candidates who show a keen interest uh, in physics and a strong desire to learn. We also look for those uh, with uh, good physical intuition and, and an ability uh, to express, analyse and solve problems uh, using mathematical language. What's really exciting, I think, about studying earth sciences here in Oxford is, is basically the broadness of the department. So we have a lot of different faculty covering research ranging all the way from, from fossils, from dinosaurs, to climate change, to oceanography, to things uh, like deep planetary interior processes, um, such as the things that I'm doing, involving both experiments, involving um, computer modeling and field work. Um, typically you will have three courses a term which means three sets of lectures and three tutorials every week for which you have to prepare essays so it's quite quite a busy course and you'll have to really learn how to manage your time 